everybody, welcome to another edition of another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA, the fourth grade edition. Today we will be focusing on the standard right here. It is maths.4.md.1.2. Teachers, you know what that means. I hope you do. <laughs> and students and parents, that means today we're going to be working on lesson 21, distance, time, and money word problems. So these are a little bit challenging, so stick with me. And if you want to see the same problems that I am using, look in the description box below. You will see a link. You click that link. It will take you to the same problems that I'm doing. It's a resource with this standard along with all the other 28 standards that will be tested on the math FSA. Um, so without further ado, let me teach you. Harriet, good old Harriet. Harriet is making cookies. She needs one fourth cup of butter for each batch of cookies. One stick of butter is one half of a cup. How many sticks of butter does Harriet need to make six batches of cookies? Oh my goodness, this one looks a little difficult. So let's take a look. Uh, let's make some sense of this problem. So she's making cookies and she needs one fourth of cut butter, one fourth cup of butter for each batch. So I'm actually gonna, yeah. Um, and we know that one stick of butter is one half a cup. So I'm gonna come back to that in a second. We need to figure out how many sticks of butter does Harriet need to make six batches of cookies. So she needs one fourth of cup, one fourth cup of butter for each batch, and she's going to make six batches. So here's one. Where is here? So if we think of it like this, each batch she's going to make one fourth, and there's six of them. So if there's six of them, we need to multiply or add one fourth. I'm going to multiply times six, or you could add one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth six times. So one fourth times six, which I'm going to convert to six over one, it's the same thing. Um, one times six equals six, four times one equals four, so that's six fourths cups of butter that she is going to need. Okay, then I'm going to just convert that down so to see how many halves. So if I divide each by two, I'm going to get three, just finding the equivalent fact fraction, I'm just simplifying it here, three halves, which equals one half plus one half plus one half. And it says that one stick of butter is one half cup. So how many sticks does she need? How many halves do I have? One, two, three. I've got three halves. So she will need three sticks. Of butter. All right, so again, I want to point out that these problems are a little bit more intense than problems that you've seen in the past episodes. Um, so I have two suggestions for you. First, make sure that you rewatch this video until you get it. Um, second is, again, that resource that I have has additional practice problems just like this that you'll be able to practice that aren't seen in the video. So give yourself some more practice to get these types of problems right. Example two, everybody, Mr. Gray is roasting two chickens. A chicken must roast for one third of an hour for each pound. One chicken weighs nine pounds and the other chicken weighs 11 pounds. Drag each chicken to the number line correctly to show how long each roast will take. How long it will take to roast. Part B is drag the difference in the roasting times to the box. 
two parts, long problem. Let's take it step by step. Ooh, baby, gonna get to you, girl. And <laughs> KOTB. Mr. Gray is roasting two chickens. Okay, and we know that a chicken must roast for one third of an hour for each pound. So each, that means that we're gonna be multiplying. So we have nine for the first chicken times one third. If this one is nine pounds and it needs one third of an hour for each pound, then we're gonna multiply. And the other one would be 11 times one third because it's 11 pounds and it needs one third of an hour there. So just like in the video on multiplying a whole number times a fraction, um, we're gonna convert nine to nine over one times one third. Nine times one is nine. One times three is three. And nine easily divides by three, which equals three hours total needed for that chicken. All right, and then for the 11 pound chicken, that would be 11 over one times one third. 11 times one is 11. One times three is three. And 11 divided by three, three, six, nine, 12. No, it doesn't convert easily. So let me, or it doesn't reduce easily. Do this, three goes into 11 three times, which is nine. Subtract, start it from the bottom, now we're on top. Bring my divisor over for my denominator, so that's three and two thirds hours. Okay, the hard part is done, now I just gotta apply this information to the problem. All right, <clears throat> so drag each chicken to the number line to correctly show how long it will take to roast. So here's chicken number one. I'm just gonna call it one here because you can't really drag it. This is what you would do on a computer. Um, I can't do that on a paper, but you can see what I'm doing is I'm taking this chicken, chicken number one, and I'm gonna put it roast time in hours right here. So there's my chicken number one. <laughs> I'm a terrible drawer. All right, and then chicken number two is three and two thirds hours. So here's three, then we have one third, two thirds, three thirds. So here's my two thirds right there. That would be chicken number two, okay? And B says drag the difference in the roasting times into the box. So I'm subtracting, because it says find the difference, I'd be subtracting three and two thirds Minus, let me erase right here so you can see this, three and two thirds, finding the difference between three. So subtract the whole numbers. That'd be one, I'm sorry, that'd be zero. Zero, and then two thirds minus no fraction over here would be zero and two thirds, which we don't write it as zero and two thirds. We just write it as plain old two thirds. So here's two thirds, we go right here, two thirds. Example three, this one should not take us too long. A sports drink costs $2.20 each. Nathan uses a $5 bill to buy two sports drinks. How much change should Nathan receive? <clears throat> so he goes and he buys, here's a sports drink, so, and it costs $2.20 each. He has a $5 bill, okay, that he uses to buy two of these. So let me draw another sport drink here. So I could either add 220 plus 220, $2.20, or I can multiply. I'm gonna add. Either one would work, okay? So zero plus zero, just I've never been taught how to multiply decimals before in fourth grade, so I'm gonna add. Technically, you could multiply. All right, I'm dropping it. I chose to add. Okay, so if we add them both together, we get $4.40 that it costs total, which is an answer choice right here, but that's not what the question is asking us to do. It says, how much change should he receive? So he says, so when they ring it up at the register, this is the cost, but he has five bucks. So now we need to subtract 
the amount that he has. Okay, 0 minus 4, we can't do that, so we regroup here. That becomes 10. 10 minus 4 is 6, so he would receive 60 cents back. All right, last one today. Example 4, Mark threw a ball 23 yards. His brother Ty threw a ball 20 yards. How many more feet did Mark throw the ball than Ty? So how many more means we need to subtract. And this is not a typo. I did mean feet because here we have the units yards, but eventually we need to convert it to feet. So we need to find the difference. We're finding how many more yards, how many more feet eventually that Mark threw it. So let's start with what we know about the yards. Mark threw it 23 yards. And we're subtracting what Ty threw. 23 minus 20 is 3. Okay, but now we need to figure out how many feet. So over here, this is why I left the reference sheet up because I knew we were going to need it, um, which you will receive a reference sheet on the test. Make sure you study it and know how to use it. So here we see that one yard, oh, let me write it down here where I have more room, one yard equals three feet. One yard equals three feet. Okay, but we have three yards that we need to convert into feet. So three yards equals how many feet? One times three gives us a three, so we gotta do three times three, which equals nine. So Mark threw it nine more feet than Ty. Guys, before we close out for today, let me leave you with these words to motivate and inspire you to do something big. All right, we've got a real problem in our school system and in our world today. If you see somebody being bullied, it happens every day. You need to make it stop. Stand up for them. Why is it so hard for us to do that? Okay, there's a lot, a lot of bullying going on. Okay, what is bullying? If somebody is picking on somebody, being mean to them to make themselves look good, you are being a bully. To have power over that person, you are being a bully. Okay, we need to make it stop now. So teachers, we have got to be standing up for these kids. Students, you see more than we do. Okay, we are very busy adults trying to make sure that you are ready and prepared for college and for your career and for the next phase in your life, you see more than we do, okay? I'm being honest with you. It's your job to let us know when it's happening. Also, how can you stand up for these kids? Don't participate in it, all right? Don't follow the crowd. It's, don't, meh. A bully wants an audience. If they get the laugh, then they're gonna keep on being bullies. But if you stand up for them and you kind of say, hey man, that's not cool. Come on, come on friend, let me help you. Even if they're not your friend, help them, okay? You wouldn't want it happening to you. So if you are being bullied, if you are bullying, or if you see somebody bullied, it's time to make it stop.